Hey guys, so Mr. Pokey here, back with this really quick video where essentially, um, for those of us who are farming simulated universe, uh, as you can see from my progress here, I've already done quite a number on, on this place. Just left uh, top five more upgrades and we'll be more or less done with this trip. Yeah, but uh, for those of us farming simulated universe, there is actually a soft cap as to how much materials you can get. Uh, we all know that all the good stuff that Simulator Universe gives us is, 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 is pretty substantial and we really wish that this, this, this thing can last forever. But unfortunately, this is not the case because there is actually a soft cap as to how much materials you can farm. So once you actually hit that soft cap, um, I would suggest just take it chill for a week. Uh, this soft cap resets weekly, by the way. So once you actually hit it, um, there is no need to keep doing Simulator Universe because you're essentially just um, wasting your time, time unless you want to do the ability tree. Which, I mean, you're still gonna get it done either way. And simply Universe is quite time consuming, I would say. So, what is this soft cap? Right, so, I'm just gonna pull this up here. Um, this is the math that I did myself. I tested it across um, my own theory testing as well as getting some sources from um, Bilibili, which is the CN site for um, all the good stuff, the CN site of YouTube. So, essentially, how the this, this whole simple Universe runs on a point system, like when it comes to loot. So essentially, boss 1 gives you 1 point worth of materials, boss 2 gives you 2 points, and the final boss gives you 3 points. And the combined points you can get for the week, like the entire week, right, is 200 points. So, so this is the soft cap essentially. And you can get this soft cap by either farming the first stage, the elite boss 1, 200 times, or you can just do it by farming the entire run, which is, gives you 6 points, uh, 34 times total, to for you to hit 200 points. The, the bottom line is once you hit 200 points worth of um, materials, you can no longer get additional materials uh, after that. So to fully um, be time efficient about this, uh, it will be advisable to just do full runs instead of just going to one run at a time to get um, in terms of resources anyways. So for full runs, you need 34 full runs to hit 200 points. And that is roughly five runs a day uh, and four runs on the last day over the course of the week. So this will net you the um, fastest, amount of fastest amount of clear time across the entire one week. So what resources are we really looking at here? So it's 3 dust for your relics and 1,000 credits for your, um, your bank account. So this is the most important resources, I would say. The relic experience and the bank account, um, your credits. The, these two materials, the Thief's Instinct and Silver, Silver Main Batch, you essentially can get them from like um, the mobs as well. But they are also use, very useful for you to upgrade your tracers because this is one of the only places you can get, right? Uh, and it's stamina free. So this um, boss one. And as you can see here for boss two, um, you get three light dust as well, but you get substantially like more ma materials in terms of tracers and you essentially almost like more or less double your credits. Uh, keep in mind that all these um, materials generated from like each of your boss runs, they are RNG based. So it's really not a, like a flat amount that you get each run. And then for the final boss, you can see here, I got seven lost dust and a shit ton of materials and three times the credit. So that's why it's based on a point system. So essentially boss, the final boss will be three times as much uh, value, more or less theoretically, than the first boss. And the second boss is like two times as much. So this is essentially how the point system works. And you really, really just want to farm like up to your 200 points a week so that you can get the most amount of value out of Simulator Universe. And once you hit this 200 points worth of materials, you can stop farming and just take it chill and just go and do your mobs running. Okay, this is really for the try hards here. Yeah. Uh, if you don't really want to try hard, don't really care about all the these materials, just want to play at your own pace, by all means, uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's quite easy to hit um, 35 runs a week because it's really type, kind, quite time consuming. I think roughly each run right now takes me around 20 minutes. Uh, I just speed through everything. So 35 runs, it's... Um, quick math, it's going to be like 700 minutes, which is going to be more or less like 11 hours of your time. So it's really quite substantial. Um, um, unless you, you're just about to be max life, right? But if you're not about it, it's fine. You can just take a chill. And yeah, um, so that's just the view that I wanted to get across. Do not over farm simulated universe. It will cap out at this 200 point system. And yeah, that's about it.